Time for the bias sports report. The Nashville Predators have suspended Alex Radulov and uh, Andre Kostitsin for Game 3 against Phoenix for violating team rules. Because they were uh, apparently out getting drunk. <laughs> getting drunk. All kinds of drunk. To quote my buddy Hustler on Twitter, they, uh, they broke the Alan Jackson rule, which is don't rock the jukebox. Apparently, they rocked the jukebox out in Nashville the other night. The Preds should have left Radulov over in the K where he was for the last couple of years, and Andre over in Montreal. That takes a colossal amount of stupidity to pull off. Breaking a team rule, now you're suspended in a series where you're already down 2 nothing. I mean, imagine how Carrie Underwood feels about this right now. She is not impressed, and she's an angel, and you let her down. Both of you, Radulov and Kostitsin. Shame on you. Senators defenseman Eric Carlson has agreed to join Team Sweden in the World Championships, which means lifelong Senators fan Amy Volume will be trying to drag us goat people out to the bar every second night to watch all Team Sweden games because Carlson is, quote, so cute. So uh, good luck with that volume. That's not happening. Boom. Out of here. That's what I'm thinking. Brett Favre will have to testify under oath. Uh-oh. This is about the sexual harassment accusations by two New York Jets masseurs. He allegedly invited to get down with him via text message. I can just imagine Brett Favre in court wearing his, wearing his Wranglers and he's got his dog Willie with him. State your name for the court, please. Well... I'm good old Brett Favre. Dum, 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 dum. When he says to the judge, then he does the wink and the gun at the judge because he's a gunslinger. Can't wait to see uh, Brett Favre in court. In the words of his former teammate, Bart Scott, Can't wait! To continue the trend of awful Canadian reality knockoff TV shows, The Bachelor Canada will be a guy named Brad Smith who apparently plays in the CFL. Dum, 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 dum. Brad Smith said, quote, after years of playing in the CFL, being the Bachelor Canada is easily the highlight of my life. It just goes to show, kids, if you are a poor to mediocre athlete at something and you work hard, maybe one day you'll get on a bad Canadian reality show on uh, City TV. If you work really hard, that is. Paramedics had to go to the New York Knicks locker room to treat the hand of Knicks star Amari Stoudemire after he punched a fire extinguisher. Dum, 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 dum. He punched it. This in frustration after a loss to the Miami Heat, which, I mean, I'd be upset losing to those guys too. LeBron and Bosch and those goofs. But couldn't you find something better to punch than a fire extinguisher? Because those things, you know, they're made of, like, steel, aren't they? Dum, 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 dum. I mean, I'm pretty sure the last time I checked, they weren't made of Nerf. Either way, kids don't punch fire extinguishers. And Sunshine Girl Chantel wants to combine her love of language with a successful career. Clearly, she wants the Sunshine Girl blurb writer spot. So if you're the guy who uh, writes those blurbs, start sweating now because she's coming for that job. 